How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Ramble. I'm going to be talking about I just done a video there um, two days ago. And uh, Zoe Payne, one of the subscribers, hi Zoe, asked a question. Now I actually, I made a wee filter, a diffuser for a, you know, the compact cameras, you know, how to soften the flash on it. And Zoe asked a question there, she takes photographs of jewellery and she wanted to know would this here actually help with the glare. I mean, she's taking the photographs and she's using a macro setting and she's hitting it with a flash. The jewellery, the centre of it just coming out, whited out because of the flash on it. And she was asking, you know, can this be used, you know, for that to soften it? Well, technically it'll soften it um, a slight bit more so than the uh, straight in the face, but not enough to really warrant a good quality photograph. If obviously you may be selling them, I don't know if you have an Etsy store or something like that, but or you might even just be photographing them for your own, you know, record, so in case for insurance purposes or anything like that. But um, the image you would get from it using an onboard flash on macro setting with jewellery that close, um, it's not going to be different with the flowers, the example I was showing you in the last video, uh, because, you know, the texture and the, the colour and saturation will absorb a lot of flash. But if you're photographing anything reflective, it's just going to look straight back. So basically, I'll give you a quick rundown what I would recommend you to do. Um, use available light. And available light, i.e. if you can get natural light coming, it's a bit overcast here uh, in Waterford, Ireland. At this moment time, we're coming up about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not a good time as such. So basically, try to get as close as possible to a window. You're getting natural light coming in, not harsh sunshine, but enough brightness. You're going to set your camera onto macro. And basically your jewellery and things like that. I've just got a load of uh, beach pebbles and things like that. A couple of shells. I'm going to put it on. I'm just going to give you one example of what you could do. Well, do you remember the filter? If you're not familiar with the video I'm talking about, I'll put the links down below. But the wee diffuser that I showed you how to make in the last video. If you were to use that, so basically what you'd be doing is, I'll take a photograph without um, the, the filter on until you'll see. I'm not going to be using a flash, by the way. So what you would be doing is you're just composing your image. You're looking for the reflection on the, the piece of jewellery. So you're getting a precision. You're nearly filling the frame. Helps if you put it, put it onto a macro set, which I didn't do there. Uh, here we go. Okay. So... What I would say, because you're using available light, you remember you have no flash on. And that in itself is looking okay, I might take another one. But basically what you're trying to do is you're looking through the LCD screen and you're making sure that you're limiting the amount of light. Now basically what's happening there is... Okay, so there's one now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the filter over now what's going to happen here is obviously there's no ambient light coming in from behind me that's that's further into the room with the darkness all the light has been coming in here obviously i've got a bit of a studio light up there the light just because it'll be too dark so the light's coming in and basically your your camera is pointing down towards the surface so what you want to do is you're going to use a reflector and when you're putting your lens through now keep in mind no flash what's happening is, is your piece of jewelry your piece of jewelry is going to be sitting the light, the ambient light which is coming towards this whiteboard and the lens of the camera is now being reflected. And basically what that's doing now is it's actually, it's filling, it's actually filling the, uh, any of the shadows. That's a usable photograph there. Take another one. And basically what's happening there is, you, so you can imagine that the ambient light's coming in. So therefore there's going to be a slight shadow on this side of the jewellery or the item that you're photographing. So you want to fill that back in again. You don't want to be introducing a flash until as soon as you hit the flash, it's going to cancel everything out. You're going to get harsh shadows and of course you're still going to get that flash. By doing this, and you get a larger piece of paper as well if you wanted to. The more that you're going to be bouncing the light until it, you can actually direct it. Cut a wee aperture, a wee window into it. Once again, this is actually bringing more light in. And you're just bending it round. You're looking through your LCD. 
making sure that you're cutting out as much of the glare and as the flash as possible, the light coming in. It's a wee bit dark there. So I pull the light back slightly. And remember that as long as you have it, as long as you have the object that you're photographing, as long as you have that in focus, um, even though you have it in macro, it's, you can't actually pull back slightly from it. It's the only reason why you're putting a macro, most of these compact, you can't take a photograph within say three foot. So no matter what I do, so that's why you have a macro. But remember that you can pull your camera back leaving a bit more space, making sure she's focused on taking a photograph and then you can crop it at the editing stage and doing it. So there you go. Listen, can it help? Uh, I would not recommend you to be using a flash uh, when you're doing any uh, jewellery or anything like that. Get as much available light as possible. Put up in the window. As I say, it's four o'clock here. It's autumn. It's getting dark. I'm not using a flash. Just make sure that you're holding the camera properly. You're resting your hand on something or holding it pretty still. Lock your focus on the closest part of it. There's one. It's going to bounce the other one now. There you go. Guys, I hope you found that informative. And uh, thanks very much for your questions. Any other questions you want about photography, leave them down in the comments and see if I can do a video. Put up a quick one here. I'm going to make you um, in the video in the next couple of weeks, possibly. Um, hard to make like a, a tabletop uh, studio so you can actually be, uh, you know, bringing in studio lights and things like that, even with a camera like this here. So uh, stay tuned for that. Guys, you can follow me on Twitter and also um, on Facebook. And please do subscribe uh, for these videos. Guys, send you love from Ireland and thanks very much for watching.